Hi, I'm Neil NSD, and I might just be the number one Splatoon player in my country, even though my rank is only S plus one and my peak X power is merely 2005.2. Let me explain. I live in a very tiny country known as Mauritius, a small island in the middle of the Indian Ocean with a population of only 1.2 million. Over here, people still have the mentality that Nintendo games are just for kids, so there aren't a lot of people who own a Switch, and even if they do, they are very likely young people who don't really get into the competitive scene or try to grind for high ranks. Plus, many services are not available here, such as YouTube monetization or Google Play billing services. Matchmaking is also difficult in here, as many games, such as Super Mario Maker 2, have region-based matchmaking, meaning I can only play with people in the country and, well, you can see how that's a problem. So considering I will likely be leaving this country in a matter of months, I wanted to take a look back on my gaming life in such a limiting country, as well as all the things I've managed to achieve as a gamer and as a YouTuber during my time here. Not a lot of people here play Splatoon. The only people I've seen play Splatoon are casuals and I only know of three people. So I think it's a fair assumption that I may very well be the highest ranked Splatoon player in the country. Plus it's even more likely that I'm the only person in the country to have taken part in Splatoon tournaments as I've taken part in Minnow Cup, Little Squid League and Low Ink with my team Ink Tanks. This means that I also have recognition in the competitive scene of the game, which is generally viewed more highly than solo queue ranks in the community. Speaking of which, my highest rank is S plus 1 and my peak X power is 2005.2, which is very likely to be the highest in the country. I've also played the game for over a thousand hours and I've reached EVP 890 in Salmon Run and have cleared hazard level max, which is something I don't believe a lot of people here could do. Also, I remember that when the Splatoon 3 test fire, the Splatfest world premiere, was going on, I couldn't play it at all, as I couldn't get a single match. This was because the game was trying to match me up with people in my country, which, as you may have guessed, was not possible. So you can imagine just how excited I was when I managed to get into a Turf War match in the final game for the first time. I'm honestly really glad that they decided to change their system, or else I probably wouldn't be where I am now. Over here, YouTubers face a huge issue. Videos made in this country are seldom recommended to people and show up on their feeds. This is why most of my highest viewed videos are videos that people would want to search up, such as tutorials, instead of my gameplay videos and such, which one would expect to show up on other people's recommended feed. This makes it all the more commendable that I have managed to get over 3,000 subscribers and over 1 million total views since my account's creation in 2017, even with all these limitations to deal with. I have yet to reach my monetization goal so I can start to make money, but I doubt it'll even be possible here in Mauritius. Nonetheless, I'm still proud of my achievements here, and I hope that when I leave, I can take my content creation journey to the next level. There are some other games that I've played here as well, which a lot of others might not have played in this country. First is Super Smash Bros Ultimate. There are certainly more people here who play Smash than those who play Splatoon, but that's not saying much. Matchmaking in Smash is still region based, but surprisingly you can actually get matches. Sometimes. See, not enough people play the game to the point where you can get a match anytime you hop on. This makes it all the more baffling that I managed to get into Elite Smash by just playing with people in this country in quick play. I'm almost certain that my GSP is no longer enough to be in Elite Smash anymore, but I don't care, my Steve will forever have a glowing character slot and I'll always be able to see Elite whenever I play Smash Bros. There's also Super Mario Maker 2, which not a lot of people here play, but I've managed to make a lot of levels here and uploaded them to Course World, and I've even made videos about them which you can check out on the channel. Unfortunately, due to the region-based matchmaking once again, I haven't been able to play much online and get my rank up, but it's fine, this game has terrible netcode anyways. So yeah, that's about it. I've come a long way from where I've started, and in some aspects I've managed to reach the top in my country. So that's why I'm all the more excited to leave this place and pursue new, more ambitious endeavors and challenges without being limited by being in an underdeveloped country. Also, you might have noticed that I'm not super active on YouTube, as you can probably tell. I do my best to make some videos from time to time, but my channel can be a bit dormant for a while. 
However, I am super active on my Discord server, which you can find the link to in the description. We have a great active community with many fun bots, events, and things to do, so come and check us out. Plus, I'm active there pretty much every single day. So if you have any questions, ideas, or just want to chat with me, come join me in my server. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.